math enthusiast. Welcome to Matt with Ihan. In case you were wondering, I am Ihan, this is Matt with me. This week, we are going to be solving problems about arithmetic sequence. Just stay tuned. 2000 mg of medicine is administered to a patient at 8 am at the end of each hour. The concentration of medication is 30% that was present at the beginning of the last hour. So question is, what portion of the medication remains in the body at 1 p.m. if no other medication is given? Here comes the second part of the question. A second dosage of 500 mg is given at 10 a.m. What is the total concentration of the medicine in the patient's body at 12 noon? Here is the answer to the question. At 8 a.m., this patient is administered 2,000 mg of medicine, right? So, this is the original amount. What's, what's going to happen in one hour is that 30% of this concentration is going to be present at the patient's body. How can I calculate this? I need to multiply this 2,000 mg by 30%. In order to do that, conversion would be needed from percentage to decimal number, where 0.2 30 is the equivalent value to 30%. So this is going to give me 600 milligram. See? This is the amount that is going to be in patient's body in one hour. So following the pattern, at 10 a.m., what's going to happen is that I will have to multiply this 600 milligram by another 30% by 0.30 to show, to see actually the amount of medicine in the body at 10 a.m. That, that will give me 180 milligram. Following the same pattern on and on, what's gonna happen is that I'll be able to see 180 times 0 0.30, 54 milligram. And at 12 p.m. will be 54 times 0 0.30 which will be equal to 16.2 and finally at 1 p.m. will be 16.2 multiplied by 0 0.30 which we will end up with 4.86 milligram of the medicine will be left in the patient's body. As you see this amount is considerably lower than, much lower than to the 2,000 milligram that's been in the patient's body at 8 a.m. Now, as you notice, at every step, I've been multiplying my initial amount of medicine by 0.30. In other words, one hour from 8 a.m., I multiplied that by 0.30 raised to the power 1. At 10 a.m., another multiplication by 0.30, I can re-express this as my initial amount multiplied by 0.30 raised to the second power and following the same pattern, three hours from 8 a.m., that's going to be 2,000 milligram multiplied by 0.3 and so on. Well, as, as you notice, what happens over the time is from, say, from 8 a.m. till 11 a.m., three hours pass, and I would simply multiply my initial administered value which is 2000 by 0 0.30 raised to the third power. So following the same pattern, when I get to 1 p.m., you know, five hours after eight, and in the patient's body, what's gonna remain will be actually 2000 milligram, the initial value multiplied by 0 0.30 to the fifth power, which will give us 4.86 milligram eventually, as you see, which is less, considerably less than the initial amount. Now remember, a second dosage of 500 milligram is given at 10 a.m. to this patient. 500 milligram, right? And, and the, what I'm trying to find is the total concentration in this patient's body at 12 p.m., right? 11 to 12. So this is two hours time from 
10 a.m. till 12 p.m. That means I need to multiply 500 milligram by 0.30 raised to the second power, which will be equal to actually 45 milligram, right? But on the other hand, remember that you're talking about 8 a.m. insertion of 2,000 milligram of medicine to this patient. Following the same pattern, what's going to happen at 12 p.m. is since four hours would have passed, I need to multiply this 2,000 milligram by 0.30 raised to the fourth power, which will give me actually 16.2 milligram. And finally, what I need to do is I need to add these two amounts of medicine uh, at 12 noon, 45 milligram plus 16.2 milligram, which will give us 61.2 milligram in the patient's body at 12 noon. Now it's time for math with you. I'm going to give you our problem of the week and I need you to help us solve it in the comments. The Smith family has been sick recently and went to the doctor just today. After the doctor's visit, little Johnny was recommended to come back in 9 days. Mommy has to come back in 18 days and daddy has to come back in 12 days. When is the next day they need to come back to the office on the exact same day? Don't forget to watch next week's video for the answer. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check back every Friday for a new video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the meantime, check out our website and our social media.